Hello everybody, as promised I would do a, um, a video to show you how I work with the pigments. Here is a very cheap one from the Action, the brand Max. Well, you just grab on your pigments and you, you dab it on like this. I hope you all can see it. The most important thing for to work with eyeshadow pigments is that it is pigmented and some of them are some of them are not that is just a, a matter of trial and error uh, you just dab it on with a pencil like this and you just well put it on how you prefer just be sure that there are no uh, it all is very grained so to speak and then because if you put on the UV top coat then uh, if it's not then it can be uh, diluted well, you just try it and then you see it for yourself really there is nothing much going on to do this this one oopsie doopsie hang on a little bit more I do it like that, put it on and just do it as you like. Um, I'm not doing my dominant hand although I can work perfectly with my left as well. A little bit, uh, I like a little bit from the other color here. Just put it on as you like then I do a little bit of this just to show let me have a look yes very nice shaded this should be a little bit out uh, the nice thing is that if you don't like what you've done you just take a little bit isopropyl alcohol and propyl alcohol I would say and you get it off so like that now I can add my uh, nice uh, acrylic dots I do the white one this time grabbing a dotting tool and then I always do it like this grab a little that's a little too much and put it on I start in the middle no that won't do it as good as I want it to be hang on let me grab a paper can't find it anyway um put it a little bit on here like that because I can't get it right and it's just acrylic so you can get it off anytime oops well you can do whatever you want to do on it now and it's very easy to uh, use um, acrylic paint but be sure that it's dry before you put on the top coat, otherwise you get a smear, a smear. If I want to be level, I do it. Start in the middle. And the eyeshadow, as I said, it should be um, pigmented. And not all the very cheap browns are that pigmented, so perhaps you should buy a, a, a little bit more expensive one. But hey, that's just a matter of trying. And it's very easy to work with. Also, you can have a uh, gel lac under it. And then do the pigment on it for shimmer. That's also nice. Um, 
that's it now this has to, to dry and I thought it was for when you are on a budget it is the solution because well you don't have uh, you can you don't have the shipment cost because I always find the shipment cost very very uh, uh, high 695 because I understand they want to have proof that you've got it because there are many people they say they didn't get it but got it and I have a webshop my own and I always send with track and trace and free from a certain amount anyway let me get my top coat I use the shellac I said from C C and D and I think it's superb well for me the the part of it is that it doesn't you see you can go over it and then the shimmer comes marvelously back but to said I can only lose, use the breezer I used many 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 browns and every time I get a reaction let me get it frozen so I use from CND the breezer not the breezer light because I've been told by you say uh, CEO that uh, from uh, CND that only the breeze not the light but the breeze is hypoallergene uh, and without uh, acryl, acry acrylene substance and that's what is my allergic so they can all say well you could it's, it's there's also, also a Dutch brand and I've tried them all and to be honest the only thing that works for me and it's not because I'm saying it I can I have used it and I got reactions and well <laughs> I'm not lying I mean what's, what's the purpose for lying if I could have uh, a cheaper brand <laughs> it would be very helpful for me don't forget to seal the top don't forget to seal the top and what's the purpose of lying? I never lie. So to seal it, to freeze it, I never lie. So pff, got a terrible argument with that person's accused me that I lied. But what's the purpose of lying? I mean, if if it could save me for having my all my allergic reactions, I would be very happy. But it didn't. So why? I always freeze it because it doesn't walk into my walls and then I put here the result is just stunning I would say if you put on the top coat it all comes alive like the acrylic but also the nice um, pigmented I hope you can all see it and it was not a trick it I, I knew it from the acrylic when I did did work and I do work with acrylic but also with gloves on nitrile gloves and I, I when I mixed my own colors then I also worked with sh eyeshadow pigments mineral and, and then it also didn't give any lifting at all I think just try it for yourself what works for me won't perhaps won't work for you I don't know I do not know very important is to encapsulate the the, 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 the top and I'm happy and when I can afford it I will buy also more expensive ones but for now I think this is okay so you see it and I will put a photo at the end for the end results I will clean it up with the isoprofil alcohol and then put some nail oil on it and I'm ready uh, what you, where I put it on was from the Brisa uh, Rosa Sheer uh, color and um, well I'm happy with the results what I'm having now now I'll do my uh, two minutes in UV lamp and like I said I will at the end put some photos and if you have done it also make a VR and, let, and show me yours 
for now i would say thank you for watching until next time